Those Dagon Tour Pros, they hit it so good. How do they do that? And one of the things that they do really well is when they're hitting shots, this is all shots, so all the way from a wedge all the way up to a driver. We'll kind of go over both in this video. But they're able to open their body, stay down in what, what most people call covering the golf ball, put pressure on the shaft, and really compress that golf ball with the hands leading in front. Well, there's actually a really simple drill that I'm gonna share with you here that allows you to stop doing that. So if you're the opposite of that, if you feel like you lose your posture, if you end up kind of throwing or flipping the club at the ball, your contact and your ball flight isn't as strong as you'd like for it to be, I have an awesome drill for you. Now be sure to watch this drill because even if you've seen something similar to this, I have a couple of key points with this that really make all the difference in the world when you're doing this drill. So make sure you do this the right way and you're gonna have a level of solid contact that you haven't had in a while. Let's go and get started. All right, so let's jump right in here. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and take our grip, and then I wanna slide my right hand down to where about half my right hand is on the shaft, half of it's still on the grip. And then I can kinda of have my hands looking like this. So it's just like a normal grip would be. I'm just sliding them apart. Uh, split hand grip, a lot of people will call this, but there's a couple modifications that we're gonna do. Now, one reason this is really good if you're tending to lose your posture, so you're kind of backing up, you're doing the opposite of covering the golf ball, you're losing your posture, your hips are going toward the golf ball, a lot of times you're not opening your body very much, well what happens is you have to flip that club to be able to hit this golf ball. Now with a split hand grip like this, you really don't have the length to actually throw the right hand and still reach the golf ball. You know, the club would be much longer if my hand was in the normal position. So if I choke up on it like this, I have to make some modifications. So when I take my split hand grip like this, now as you come through contact, instead of raising up and throwing the club, you have to stay down in your, in your posture, just like the pros are doing, staying in that posture through the shot. So this is a great cheat to give you the feeling of exactly what the pros are feeling as they're hitting the golf ball. Now there's a couple things I want you to focus on when you're doing this. Number one, I want my body to open up. So I really wanna feel like my hips open up. I'm gonna feel like my left arm is kind of cinched across my body like this. So if we're looking from face on, my, my chest, my, my arm is cinched across my chest like that, and it's the opening that gets the, the club to the ball. I'm gonna feel like my belt buckle, again, this is a feeling, is pointing toward the target. It's not gonna be, it's only gonna be about 45 degrees open, but that's the feeling I'm gonna have. And I wanna go ahead and let my right heel start coming off the ground so that I can actually get in this position. If my heel stays down, it gets really tight. You really can't do that. So I wanna really feel like I'm opening up, left arm across, right heel up, that's gonna be really good. Now the second piece here, and what's really important, is like a hockey slap shot. Now good hockey players, what they do is they put pressure into the stick. So again, if I do my split hand grip and I go ahead and come down here to contact, if my right shoulder is driving through the shot, then I'm in a great position just like the pros. And I can feel this by taking my split hand grip, putting my club behind the golf ball, and then feeling like my right shoulder drives forward until I put some pressure into that shaft. So you actually see the shaft bending just like a hockey stick would be bending, and I'm pushing that into the ground. That's that pressure I wanna feel. The same thing's happening in a golf swing. I'm putting some pressure into this ball with my right shoulder. As it keeps on moving forward, that allows me to take that divot in front of the golf ball and really have my hands in front. So as my right shoulder goes forward, that puts the pressure into there and my hands are in front. Now, if I'm doing this incorrectly, if I'm kind of standing up and throwing at it, my right shoulder stays back and I flip the club like this. There's actually no way for me to reach the golf ball way back here like this. My right shoulder's back and my, I'm out of my posture if I don't flip to be able to reach it. Now, if you do this drill, all of a sudden, I'm way away from the golf ball now. So this is gonna train you how to not only stay in your posture, but to get that pressure in the shaft so you can feel like you really compress it. Here's what I want you to do to get that feeling. We're gonna go ahead and go down to the shot, feel that pressure in the ground, bend, actually bend that shaft into the turf a little bit. And then from there, drive your right shoulder on through it. So I'm putting some pressure into the ground, right shoulder keeps going forward, and then I'm throwing that golf ball down the fairway. If you're coming out of your posture, you're feeling it way back here. We wanna get that thing moving forward. Now, here's another piece with this that ties in with exactly what we talked about. A really big key with this is my right elbow. If I'm losing my posture and I'm throwing the club, my right elbow is straightening very early. It's almost like if I grabbed a golf ball, I would be thinking of it if I'm losing my posture as me standing up and throwing everything at the golf ball. Well, in reality, 
the golf swing, if you look at the pros, is much more of an opening motion, and they're feeling like they're tossing that golf ball down the fairway like that. So same feeling here. Get the split hand grip, put some pressure into it, and look at my right elbow. See how it's still bent? I'm not letting that extend until after contact. So let's do the same thing again. Put pressure into the ground two or three times, right shoulder's going forward. Notice my right arm is staying bent. And then I can make a couple swings, feeling my right arm bent, and then I'm gonna release that, and my right arm's gonna straighten out as I come into the release. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna get a couple pressure into the shaft, come back, right arm bent, right arm bent, and then I'm gonna go ahead and let it go through the ball instead of at the golf ball. And that really helps me to save up that lag, save up that hit until late, and then I'm letting that fly down the fairway. So you see here, as I hit this iron, you're gonna hear from the sound of it that I really put a lot of pressure in this ball. It really gets a nice, solid contact sound. Let's give it a whirl. There we go, hit that one fantastic. Nice penetrating ball flight, straight as an arrow. When you follow those drills, that's really gonna help you to get into a position um, that you're probably not used to if you're coming out of your posture. Now there's one piece to this that I haven't covered yet that's absolutely crucial. You know, a lot of times when I have players feel like they get more open and they feel like they get their hands more in front, what actually happens is club head as, as my hands get more in front, look what that does to the face. As the hands go forward, the face gets wide open. So if you've tried to get this forward shaft lean before, if you've tried to get in this great position, but you find the ball shoots out to the right or it shoots to the left or it never seems to work the way it should, Another thing the pros are doing here is they're squaring up the face in a very particular way. That's why you see so many great players with this bowed left wrist, this right wrist angled back. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in the next video that I play. I'm gonna play a preview of it here in a second. It's called the tennis racket drill, and it gives you a trick to fill this face squaring up once and for all. When you pair that up with what we did here, covering the ball, getting that forward shaft lean, that's when it's all gonna to start to fit together. So I'll play a preview of that video here in just one second. All you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on the screen. If you don't see those cards, no problem. Go ahead and click the link down below in the description and you'll get instant access to that video. So best of luck, I can't wait to show you the tennis racket drill. Your problems, we're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, which you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm gonna be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, I'm gonna be rotating my